something. Look at this whole stage. I'm gonna have fun with this shit. This niggas is bullshit. I'm about to have fun with this. Move this real quick. You better stop making all the noises over there with your name. <laughs> she better have all of them. Sound like, oh, you fake with her nigga? The fuck? She, I'm ready. We know. <laughs> That nigga wearing a condom in them jeans, we know. You said we're hella ready. Or Kelly ready. Oh. <laughs> nigga! That's crazy. It's a, it always be on people, bro. I'm talking about the 300 and 
to be in Elk Club. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, up, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'll be in that motherfucker looking like Paul Bunyan. Yee! Whoa! Yee! Whoa! Fuck! I love you, bitches. Look, look, look. Big bitches gotta be a certain ethnic group, though. Oh. I do big women of color. I don't do big white bitches. I don't do that. All the motherfuckers smell like potato salad with raisin in it, nigga. I don't like that shit. I like soul food, nigga. I like deep fried turkey. I don't do green bean casserole, nigga. I don't do that shit. What is that? Fuck it. I don't do that. That shit's out. That shit is out. Hey, look, I'm gonna do callbacks throughout my whole set. When I say this shit is out, y'all gonna say that shit is. Give me a second. <laughs> I like toxic women. <laughs> no, I do. I really, I'm addicted to them. I love toxic women. Like, if we got into an argument that morning, if you don't come to my job by 12 p.m. and curse me out in front of my manager, you don't love me. <laughs> Facts. I love toxic women. For real. I love toxic women. Please bring us some shit from three years ago. <laughs> I love that shit. <laughs> For real, she like, that's my type of nigga. <laughs> she is out of pocket. <laughs> she is out of pocket. <laughs> like, no, mama. Like, mama, mama, look, look. Out of fucking pocket. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> hey, everybody, this girl right here is out and she is out of pocket. Oh, she great. All right, we're going to jump right Hey, hey, let's have a real conversation really quick. Pro-life or pro-choice? Pro-choice, that's all the fellas call. All the fellas say pro-choice, y'all niggas ain't shit. Ladies, pro-life or pro-choice? That's who it matters. Pro-choice? Choice? A lot of toxic men in your life, I see. What the fuck is going on? Hey, pro-life or pro-choice, ladies? What's up? Which one? If you don't have no kids after 25, your pussy is probably trash. <laughs> and put your hand in. <laughs> I feel judged right now. I feel fuck. I pay taxes, baby. Look. I'm just saying, that shit ain't right. That shit ain't right. Look, look, look. For all the people that say they pro life, you got two standard business weeks to adopt a kid, or you can shut the fuck up. Hey, so I got something.
something to bring to y'all to your acknowledgement, right? We're gonna have a we're gonna have a little QA session really quick. Now I want y'all to know racism is real. If you think racism is real, clap your hands. All right, so most of the room is woke. Most of the room is woke. The rest of you niggas are asleep. Most of the room is woke. It's cool, it's cool. The only reason why I bring this up is I want to bring two things to your attention. I read a quote that if a black man transitions to a woman, if he turns transsexual or acknowledges that he's transsexual, that he has a different sexual identity, he is breaking up the platonic black home. That's crazy. Because I've seen a white man that once ran for the Olympics, cut his dick off, and ended up on a Sports <laughs> Illustrated main edition. <clears throat> Shit out of pocket. My white boy in the back, I ain't gonna say his name, he on probation. <laughs> got pulled over for the same shit that I did. That motherfucker got three months in form of probation. I had to take anger management. Six hundred dollars later, out of pocket. I should have just ran that bread like this. Out of pocket, and I know if I hopped out the car, he wasn't gonna chase me. That nigga was a Krispy Kreme donut. I can tell. I can tell. That nigga could not catch me. It was like the '80 Olympics. He's like, fuck Jesse Owens. <laughs> Man, I got my dicks up to the Lion King movie playing in the background. Oh. Half of y'all know this joke, but I don't give a fuck because it really happened. And it happened last year around the same time as Black History Month. I'm like the audacity. Because it was a white bitch that did it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, in the beginning it was all magical and shit. She's rubbing my shoulders, and it was a perfect song. I felt serenaded. I felt special. I'm looking at you, man. I felt special. She rubbed my shoulder. Up. Can you feel it? Huh? 
I heard you. Yeah, yeah. I have a microphone, but I can still hear you. But I don't have headphones on. I got a microphone. Like I heard that shit. What you say? Being an adult, you like you pay taxes on shit, say something. You want the leg? Oh, 